Alibaba posted very strong earnings this past quarter. But instead, the headlines read that Alibaba posted its first operating loss as a public company. In typical fashion, many simply hit the sell button and Alibaba stock dropped immediately. After over six months of decline, Alibaba has been beaten down to a level that simply doesn't make any sense. The Chinese e-commerce giant had beat analyst expectations by a significant margin. Further, Revenue surpassed expectations that represented a growth rate of 64% year over year. The problem in part was that Alibaba was fined $2.8 billion for abusing its market position. And although Alibaba more than beat on its top and bottom line, the fine was somewhat of a surprise that was not factored into analyst expectations. Regardless, from a technical standpoint, it's hard to view the recent selling in Baba stock as anything other than a buying opportunity. And for full disclosure, I recently bought Alibaba stock. So, let's take a look. Alibaba stock is now trading near the bottom of its five-year Bollinger Band range. What this means is the stock is trading near two standard deviations away from its long-term moving average. In other words, Alibaba stock is in some seriously oversold territory. Fundamentally, the company grew earnings at 64% year over year. The company's logistics business grew by 101%. Its core commerce business grew by 72% and its cloud computing division grew by 37% year over year. Recently, out of 26 analyst ratings, there are 25 buy recommendations and one hold recommendation and the average analyst price target is $304.55 per share, which is well above the current price. However, risks remain with Chinese regulators targeting companies like Alibaba for anti-monopoly measures, and there is still competition from other Chinese companies. A further risk comes from the U.S. as the Biden administration reviews its relationship with China and the potential that the SEC could delist Chinese companies not in accordance with U.S. accounting rules. So, you have been duly warned. But now... Let's take a look at our charts. And we're now taking a look at the weekly chart on Alibaba Group Holdings, and the symbol is BA, BA. Now, if you take a look at the monthly chart, you'll see that perhaps I am early, but you know me. Let's go back here in 2015 to 2016 was that double bottom there. We had another double bottom here. We only have one move at this point. We might get a double bottom a little bit later. And that's perhaps maybe why I'm a little bit early if we do get another bottom. But as you can see, following these double bottoms, it does take a little while, maybe up to a year before it starts to gain steam and then goes on a roll. Same thing here, about a year before it gained steam and went on a roll. So I think I'm going to be in this for the long term. So be prepared to be patient if you do buy Alibaba. Moving on down, the volume's not telling us much here, but the Mac does. As you can see here, this is a very serious low back there in late 2018 into 2019. No other low was as low, with the exception of the current time frame. And as you can see, the fast line has attempted to move through the slow line a couple of times and it got failed and rejected and another fail and rejection down here moving through here. But if you go into the histogram, you can see that there is some serious improvement all the way up through here. But being that I'm in for the long haul, I can wait for this improvement. I think we're close enough to the bottom. I may be wrong, but I think the probabilities are that I'm correct. We'll see. Another major bottom here in this area. It took almost about a year for this to get to this point. So now all we need to have is the oscillators start moving up. The relative strength, 
you can see pretty much the same thing. That was a maximum negativity, at least by this measure, and we have a little bit of improvement there. Into the stochastics, it looks like this is the maximum negativity at this point here, at least so far. We'll see. Looks like the fast line wants to try to move through, but we're going to have to wait and see for the next week or two to see what happens. Into the Williams, nice bottoming process that's taking a long time, but we've seen that before in the history. Going back on up here to the price chart, as you can see, what I'm looking for is a nice bottoming process here. I think I'm catching it. There may be another double bottom, or should I say a double bottom coming soon, perhaps out here later this year, or early next year. But I'm willing to wait for that because long-term capital gains are a motivator. Now, one last look here from 2000 to 15 and 16 all the way through to the current time frame, we still have a nice upward trend regardless of the roller coaster ride. So that's another reason that I'm going to stick by Alibaba, even though I'm not too happy with the Chinese. And for today, that's Chudog Chars. Thank you.